Well, hello, everyone. I apologize that this episode is out a couple days late. Um, Alex and I were excited to talk about everything and anything weddings and share all of our opinions on this oh-so-important topic and definitely think that this episode will be helpful to anyone that is planning a wedding and needs some advice or anyone that is going to be attending a wedding and needs some support. So I think that everybody will enjoy this episode no matter what part that you're playing in an upcoming wedding or if you're not even going to a wedding at all. might just be entertaining. We did have some technical difficulties when recording due to a snowstorm is what I think the reasoning was. And we're trying out some new software um, now that all the co-hosts are in different locations. So for some reason, the first uh, like 10 minutes or so, I sound like a robot. And then it moves into Alex a little bit like a robot, but definitely gets better. So I apologize for sounding so robotic in the beginning. Um, it just because the internet went out, which kept stopping our recording. So we kept having to pick back up and then heard the sound was weird. So I apologize about that. Apologize about being late, but I think that it is worth the wait and I hope that you enjoy. So here we go. Here we are on top of the stars. Never thought we'd ever get this far. We live for moments like this. We come alive in moments like this. Here we are. This is a time. start <laughs> yeah let's just, yeah we could just get into it so i guess so okay so should we share about our weddings or to begin with or do you just want to share like our feelings on our weddings or is there anything that you think we could have done differently or well i felt like I, uh i like my wedding i mean me too <laughs> <laughs> that's i mean i i feel like this is like something that everyone who gotten married always says that there's like certain things that went wrong and it bothers you like, for me, I have horrible pictures, but I had a good time. I did not have bridesmaids, so I guess that's, like, kind of non-traditional, and I'm still happy about that. Well, there you go. Yes. My husband has been in uh, several weddings since that I will probably discuss later on, and I feel like he's a little more, like, bitter about it, because I am like, why are you making your friends do, like, letting your friends make you do all this stuff? And he's like, well, I could have made them do stuff, too, but... Yeah. Whatever. What about yours? I mean, I liked my wedding. There's nothing I can think of that I thought was not good about it. To where, like, I would even there's nothing I would necessarily change about it. If that makes sense, right? So, I mean, I, I, in terms of my pictures, Kevin was hangry, and so he told the photographer to he wouldn't take any more pictures <laughs> until he ate something if he stormed off set. But so I would have maybe gotten him some food a little bit sooner. Right. But aside from that, it's a long day. It is. It I is. And too. so your wedding was in New Jersey, right? No, it was actually in the Catskills. So oh, that's right. That's yeah. right. I forgot. Yeah. You want to hear more? Yeah. No. No. Because I I remember you briefly spoke about it. I completely yeah. Forgot, but yeah. Where was yours? It was in Doyle, South Pennsylvania. Right. Oh yes. Okay. Where my parents live. Right. Right. Okay. So it was like a destination for you as well? Well, it was a destination for me, but not really. Most other people, it wasn't really a destination except like my friends from like out of town. Right. But aside from that, there were a lot of people that was just like close. It was us. Okay. That was, we, we traveled the first, we were some of the farthest travelers right. to our own wedding. Right. Yeah. So were we. <laughs> what made you choose the Catskills? Well, so we chose, I wanted a like, in quotes, <laughs> destination. Um, <laughs> Because, so we're Jewish, and for Jewish weddings, you need to have it, like, if you're doing a on Saturday, a well, either on a Sunday, which we can get into, or if you have it on Saturday, it needs to be after Shabbat ends. So mm-hmm. my wedding was mid-April, so we just thought, like, let's just have everyone go up to, like, one place, and we'll all be there, and then it can start late. So it started, like, at, I don't know, 8.15, like, the ceremony, which was pretty late. So we were just looking. I actually had a lot of rules, and I, um, I'll probably insult a lot of people by saying them. I did not want a venue that had carpet, uh, walls with window treatments. Um, <laughs> I can't remember anything anymore, but it was like carpet was my main one. So uh-huh. It was hard to find a place. 
I would agree with carpet. Do a lot of venues have carpet? I yeah, they mo- most of them do. I guess if you're in a hotel, yeah, like yeah. a lot of them will have carpet. But yeah. I guess I didn't necessarily look at places with carpet because I wasn't looking to have a hotel wedding or anything right. like that. Yours didn't have carpet? No, it was hardwood floors. Okay, but the whole place? Yeah, because it was a man. It was. Um, it's called the Aldi Mansion, and it is in Doylestown, Pennsylvania. And it's this old, like, historic mansion, and so it um has like most of its hardwood floors. Right. I don't think there's any carpet in the whole place. But, Ooh, yeah, okay, that's like a rare find. I'll tell you, I looked yeah. through the whole tri-state area. <laughs> I yeah, I guess I never. I guess yeah, I could see how a lot of them would. It just doesn't seem practical, though, for, like, a venue to have carpet for cleanup purposes, but whatever. True. I guess they have to clean the floors in between anyway. Yeah. Okay, well, so, we discussed that a lot. <laughs> have either, did either one of you go to the Catskills before you got married there, or you just, like, ended up picking that, or? I did grow up going there, but it didn't really okay. have, like, a sentimental meaning so much as it was, like, a really cool venue that did, like, the whole weekend thing, like, Friday had a barbecue and you know sun you know they like did it all you didn't need to like, yeah. bring your own chairs or anything but it was a full weekend situation gotcha did you take a picture like if you're already dancing did you guys have a <laughs> wedding photo where you were being held up in the air no. just, like... <laughs> no. I, thought, I thought so much about like a dance like that but I hate attention so no did you do like a crazy dance no, and well, my dad and I did kind of a choreographed dance, but it wasn't really choreographed. It was more of like a we turn this way, we turn that way, we kick <laughs> this way. It wasn't like anything you see on like a YouTube video, right? Okay, well, I like that when people do that. It's just it's just not my style. Yeah. Do you think that if you were okay, so like I guess if you were a guest going to your wedding, what do you think that you would complain about? Hmm, that's a good question about my I think I swear no one was complaining okay I take that back so everyone stayed on site and it was basically Mm -hmm. like cabins and they uh there were like little houses where you know we had to arrange like like this group of friends was in this house and and such which was fun but some people had to like share bathrooms and like it was not like a luxury hotel so but it was kind (laughs) of expensive what about yours um I guess that if people, I think, I guess it would just be if people were traveling out of town that they would have to go to Doylestown, but I can't even necessarily think of anything else. I really think it would just be anybody coming from, like, Ohio is kind of annoying because there's no, like, direct way to get there, which is annoying, so that's one thing to complain about, but aside from that, I don't, I mean, I didn't have a big, like, break in between or anything like that. It was pretty... I guess, oh, I guess from the ceremony, you had to drive to the ceremony, then back to the hotel to get on a shuttle, but there was nothing I could do about that, so. Right. Yeah, well, at least you had a shuttle. That's one of my biggest complaints. When, people when you go to people's wedding? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, that would be a complaint on mine, too. I think that that's an irresponsible thing, as well, I guess, unless you're yeah. having a dry wedding, then it's even worse than right. you have to drive yourself to this dry wedding. Yes, I would agree. I recently went to a wedding that was... It was not dry, but it was definitely on the cheaper. Um, like, oh, <laughs> it was <God>. limited alcohol. <laughs> it was like beer and wine, and you know, one of those, and like yeah. well liquor. Yeah. And there was no shuttle. Yeah, I complained about it a lot, definitely. And then the after party was in a different place, and there was also no shuttle to that. It was, and it was kind of on top of like a mountain. <laughs> It was really bad. Oh, gosh. Yeah, it was irresponsible. It can be definitely irresponsible. Yeah, and that's what my my biggest reason for wanting to get the shuttle is more so that I'm not going to have people at an open bar and then somebody driving just because that I would feel horrible if anything were to ever happen. So even though it's their choice, obviously I know that, but right. still, I would feel awful. So that yeah. was my whole reason for it. Yeah, exactly. So I didn't do that because we were all in one place, but I definitely think you need a shuttle. It's totally irresponsible to not have one. Yeah. Well, where my sister got married, the uh, ceremony took place in the same place that the um, reception was in, but it was right next to the mansion that we were staying in. So the cocktail hour was the mansion. 
Okay. And so it was like a two second walk, but it rained that day. And at the end of her wedding, for some reason, I thought I was going to get on the shuttle because there was a little shuttle that like took us to the ceremony. Yeah. And this way, like people wouldn't get wet right before, even though you're only going like, like you were barely driving anywhere. And so I got on the shuttle to go back to the mansion. They looked at me like I was crazy. They're like, no, we're not driving you back across like that little like pathway. (laughs) Well, who were they who were driving the other people to the hotel, like a different hotel? Yeah, to the hotel. Okay. Yeah, to the hotel. <laughs> right. Okay. They were like, you get off that shuttle. And they really denied you the shuttle? Oh, yeah. I mean, I there was no reason for me to be on the shuttle. I just was confused. Yeah. That's a shame. But, um, yeah, no, that was recently. So I have a lot of very recent experience in my head and my best friend is getting married in march actually so my anniversary is march 21st and they're getting married on march 22nd okay so their at a their rehearsal dinner is going to be our anniversary party oh yeah <laughs> how nice is that well i hope they'll have like a cake for you i know and the speeches Shout for us i'm friend. assuming <laughs> yeah make sure to have that cake yeah um so I, when I was looking at your outline and, and you were talking about um, the basic wedding components, like the things that come before the actual wedding, like the major mm-hmm. events, and the first one, the engagement party, what's interesting is that a lot of people that I know or I'm friends like on social media with from either home, like mainly like New York, Pennsylvania, New Jersey area, mm-hmm. those are the people that have the engagement parties and I've actually been to very few engagement parties just because yeah. a lot of people in like Maryland and stuff don't do that or if they do do it it's like a house party or something like that right that's interesting okay well I think they're totally unnecessary I've been to very few as well because I don't have that many married friends so like I've only been mm-hmm. to so many weddings in like New York New Jersey area but yeah, I would say a few people have engagement parties, and they're a mini wedding. Like, they're totally like a wedding, just without, like, the wedding-y stuff. It's just yeah, like- I mean, I'm just, I don't think it makes sense to spend a bunch of money on something that you're going to be spending a bunch of money on for the same event. So, like, you're celebrating how people are going to get married, and you spend just as much money as when they get married. Well, it, essentially, it's just another gift-receiving venue, and I think that's why people do them. Really? Yeah, but it's so expensive. I've seen like the pictures and they'll like have like wedding cakes and stuff and it'll be like a full oh. like cocktail hour. Yeah, I mean, it's dumb. But then there's all okay, so then there's like all the other parties. Like I feel like most people I know will he either have an engagement party or a bridal shower or like an engagement party or what else is there? There's another one. It's a bachelor party. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's just, I think it's an engagement or a bridal shower. Okay. Well, and mostly, most of the things I go to are bridal showers. Yeah. Did you have a bridal shower? Yeah, and it was nice. It was casino themed. And we played we played a game called Christy Opens the Gifts, the drinking game. But then all the bridesmaids got very drunk. And it was, it was funny. It's a story. But yeah, that actually sounds like fun. Yeah, no, it, it was fun. I, I, it was fun. But I, so I didn't want to open gifts, but mm-hmm. my mom booked this restaurant for four hours. And I was like, well, what are we going to do for four hours? You know, like, I'm like, we have to do something to fill the time. So like, I guess I'll have to open the gifts. But my sister didn't because we had it at the house. So it wasn't like, I feel like when you're at like a restaurant, I feel like it's different because you're either sitting at a table or you're right. standing up next to a table, but at least at the house, there were different places to go and stuff. Right, right. Yeah, that's So, you didn't have to. Did you have one? I didn't have one because I, um, it was just like an, another thing to go up for. Like, we had just moved to Nashville, but my mm-hmm. wedding, like I said, was in New York. So, it was just like another thing to go up there for, like, you know, dress fittings and all of that. So I wasn't going to do it here because I didn't really have any friends here. So 